Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the 6th lab program which is write a program to implement nav basin classifier for a sample training dataset stored in a CSP file. Compute the accuracy of the classifier considering a few datasets. Okay. So we have been given with what a CSP file. Okay. In that the training data is there and we have to use the nav uh, basin classifier for that data and we have to compute the accuracy of the classifier. Okay. Considering a few test uh, datasets. So a very simple code. This is the whole code what we have. Okay, it's a uh, 44 line, but it's very simple ones if you get to know what's the point happening here. Okay, so before everything you need to import some libraries like import pandas spd from sklearn import tree from sklearn.tree processing import label encoder and from sklearn.nav base import gaussian uh, nav base. Okay. So after you have imported these things, what they had asked the first thing in the question, we have to use our data set, right? So we'll be importing the data set. Data is equal to pd dot read csv p 10 dot csv. This is the name of the csv file. And this file should be present in the same directory as this uh, file is present. Okay. Then what we are doing is we are just printing those values. The first five values of the data is see in data, the whole data set is there. We just need the first five values. So by default, if you print data dot head, what will happen is first five values will be printed, right? So that will be the output. So this is the first five values of the data. Okay. As you can see the five rows here. Now uh, what we are concerned about is we will be first printing this much the first four rows will be, uh, not four rows outlook temperature humidity and windy just without this one okay without this one will be printing here then just this one will be printing here okay just this one will be printing here till this we will be having the three outputs first the whole data then the first four columns then the last column okay so how you will print the first uh, four columns is you will be writing x is equal to data dot index location all the rows and uh, the columns up to the last column but not the last column that it means okay see nothing colon minus one what does that mean nothing means starting one from the starting one till the last but not the last like that it means okay so the first uh, those things will be stored in x so x dot head will print obviously that uh, things next we have y y will store just the last column for all the rows just store the last column see, just minus one is here so we'll be storing only the last column in y dot head and that will be printing now what we are doing is see these things are similar here also we have label encoder here also we have label encoder here also we have label encoder and here also we have label encoder what does label encoder will do see the initial data set is this one right you can see sunny hot high false no but in the final you have two one zero uh, zero like that you have so these letters what is there these words that words will be corresponding to each of these numbers like sunny is given the value two overcast is given the value to zero rainy is given the value one like that it will be okay so that's what we are uh, converting for each column one by one first we'll convert for outlook le dot le underscore outlook is equal to label encoder so it will encode the label in le dot underscore outlook and that will be stored here okay so uh, whatever the values are assigned that will be stored here okay then uh, we'll be doing x dot outlook x is nothing but the whole data set which is present only the uh, first four columns this is what x is okay the first four columns are present here and that outlook value okay x dot outlook x dot outlook means this value we are considering this value is equal to le underscore outlook this is the label encoded value dot fit transform fit transform will transform this thing okay since label encoder is there uh, that is stored here and it will fit transform that means in the outlook column of x all will be uh, converted to 0 1 and 2 same thing goes for le temperature that will also be assigned label encoder and that will be fit transformed and stave into x dot temperature temperature is what the second column here then the third column humidity then the fourth column windy okay so all those four columns will be transformed and that we are printing here okay x dot head so this output is where this one okay this is the output now after that what we have is le play tennis the last one also we are encoding okay that will also be stored in y and y will also be printed at the end okay so um i guess this one now the train output okay so this one is here this is the last one which is the play tennis in the zeros and ones form it is present okay that one is printed here now since we have transformed into zeros and ones it is very easy to tra train the model how we will be training the model from sql and dot model selection import train test split first we have to split the training and testing data set right so that, that's why we are importing train test split x train comma x test comma y train comma y test is equal to train test split x comma y comma test size is equal to 0 0.20 
So that will be uh, splitted as X train and X test, Y train and Y test. Now these strings are used for training and testing. Which will be used for training? X train and Y train. So we are using which classifier? Gaussian uh, nave base because this is the nave base classifier. We have already imported nave base. So we'll be using Gaussian NB. Just write classifier is equal to Gaussian NB. Then classifier dot fit. We are fitting X train and Y train. That will be fitting it here, and then we'll be seeing its accuracy. After the classifier has been fit, we are ready to test the data. How we will be testing the data by using X test. Y test is the final prediction, means the actual value. X test will predict another value. Okay, see, X test is there, we will get some value, and this is the actual value. We will compare the got value and the actual value, and we will be getting the accuracy. So, how we will do that? From SQLN.matrix, import accuracy score. Accuracy score will automatically calculate how much predicted values are there, how much actual values are there, what are the differences between them, how accurate they are. So, just you have to write accuracy score, use this one, same thing, accuracy score, what you are uh, classifying to things predicted value and actual value just pass these two parameters the uh, predicted value will be nothing but the uh, model is ready with the name classifier classifier dot predict x test okay so that will be passing and getting the accuracy sometimes we'll get as 0 0.3 0 0.6 or it will differ okay so that's all for this video make sure you share the like button subscribe to channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one